So hi everyone, today I would be giving you some information on data conversion, migration and integration. Most of the times we tend to get confused between these three terminologies but here is a short video and a little bit of information on what are these three. So generally when you work in you know projects and sometimes there might be a scenario where they say this is not the right data format, we cannot move data because of data structure issues, data format issues, or they might say we need to, you know, migrate data from applications to another application, or they might say data integration needs to be done. So these are all different terminologies that you might come across in an organization. So here we is a little bit of information on what these three are and what are the differences. So let us get into it. The first one is what is data migration? So data migration is a process of moving data from one location to another location. So it's very straightforward. So when you have to move data from one place to another, then it's called as data migration. So when is data migration done? So the first instance could be when data should be moved from on-premise to cloud. So mostly now businesses, they are moving from on-premise, uh, you know, um, setups to cloud environments and platforms. So at that time, there's a lot of data migration that needs to be done because so many years they would have maintained data on their premises. But now they want to take that data to cloud applications and to cloud environments. So at that time, they need to do data migration. So that's one instance. The second instance would be when application code must be migrated from one environment to another. That's another form of, uh, you know, data migration. And the third instance can be when data should be moved from a legacy application to a new application. Imagine um, when web applications were not in existence, okay? That's a trending, you know, that came a few years back. But when there was no web applications and when you have just, you know, desktop applications or you have even local files, okay, in your system, after that people started using those applications and now in current days and the few years, past few years, the um, businesses, they started buying different applications. So what they do with that previous data, they definitely need that previous data for different various reasons. So at that time, they cannot afford to waste time and that's practically impossible to re-enter all that, you know, past data into your new application. So at those instances is where data migration takes place. So usually they require the application data from the uh, existing old legacy system to be migrated to the new application that they have purchased. So these are few instances when data migration is done. So examples of data migration can be, as I said, so you imagine few years back there was desktop applications, but now those customers because of different, you know, um, technologies and they need to, you know, move ahead with the, the trends, they purchased a new application, which is a web application. So at that time, they have to migrate the data from the desktop to the web application. Another example is data migration from local to an application. So as I said, imagine you're, there's someone who was just using Excel, but now they want to upload this Excel data into their application. So at that point of time also, there's a migration that is taking place. So this is a small uh, gist of what is data migration. Now let us move into the next part, which is data conversion. So imagine you have to move data from one source to another source, but imagine, you know, ha coming up with a situation where the data doesn't match the destination or the target's data format. So at that time, you have to tweak your data a little bit. You need to change your data a little bit so that it can fix into the target data's application. It's something like a puzzle. So you have the puzzles of the uh, source application and you have the puzzle pieces of the target but unless the source and the target merge together and match perfectly only then there'll be a very good flow of data to the target application so at that time there's a uh, there's something called as data conversion that needs to be done and that is what data conversion is so it is a process of manipulating or transforming data from one format to another in order to satisfy the target applications requirements or sometimes you just need data in a different format so at that time also data conversions can be done so i hope you get the difference between what is data migration and what is data conversion so when data conversions are done so in the first instance when data is migrated from one system to another 
and the data format does not match so that's what I said that that time data conversions need to be, be done so this is one most of the scenarios if you see some other scenarios then it may be like you require data in a different format so at that time you need to do some conversions so this is about when data conversions need to be done for example to see what is the different data conversions it can be a simple conversion it can be converting word to pdf that can be a simple data format conversion or there can be very complex data conversions. Imagine every database has its own structure, normalization and model, etc. But when you have to move data from one database to another database, imagine how much of, you know, um, similarity and format matching has to be done. So at that time, if there's not going to be some mismatch with the, you know, data, at that time, you'll have to do some complex data conversion so that it matches the different uh, models and structures and normalization forms of your database in order to, you know, um, data to move from the source to the destination. So these are some complex data conversions. So this is about data conversion. Now let's go into data integration. So before we get into data integration, so definitely organizations now, they don't have... Um, a single application you find organizations having multiple um, you know applications it may not be for a same uh, function such as, such as let's say finance finance departments would have an application of their own the sales department will have will have an application of their own you have the um, the IT uh, department will have applications you might find different organization users using excels and local you know data so you have data from that is you know existing in so many applications in your organization there'll be a time when you need date all that data to be brought together at that time they call it as data integration data needs to be integrated and brought together from different sources and that is what data integration is about it's the process of collecting data and combining them from multiple sources so you have multiple sources you collect the data and you combine them so you indirectly are integrating those data so when is it done as i said organizations they might have um, you know applications every uh, they might have multiple applications so if the, of course there'll be different data existing on those applications so when they want to bring data from all these applications together that time they will do data uh, you know um, integration so a simple example when you know data integration and the benefits you'll have a single source with all the data coming in from multiple applications it's also very helpful when you have to do certain analytics okay let's say i i need to find some analytics regarding my customers so at that time i need all my customers data in order to do perfect and accurate analysis so at that time i need data so for all this data integration works well an example is combining local data excel with data from a crm application so let's say i want to combine my customer inf information i have it in a local excel file and also i have a crm application with customer data so at that time i want to combine this data so how do i combine this data is through data integration so this is all about data integration and i hope you got a little information on this and how is it different from the other two which is data um, conversion and migration so to sum it up when you look at the data process so let's say you're having sources over here you're having a destination over here which can be a database can be a data mart it can be a data warehouse and you have in between these different functions and processes that take place so i can call the first phase where you have you know different sources coming in and being you know integrated together that phase i call it as the data integration phase because you're extracting data from here and you're bringing it into the system trying to combine it so this is the phase of data integration as i said now if you have to migrate data so since we have sources and destinations over here data needs to be migrated from one source to one location to another location so this whole process i can call it as data migration and when migrating, imagine I come up with a scenario where I, my data doesn't fit the exact, you know, structural format of my destination. So I need to tweak my data a little bit so that I can move it to the destination. 
So this particular transforming and manipulation phase, I call it as data conversion. So this is a very high level view. I hope this was little informative and you, uh, I cleared the doubt and about, you know, um, data conversion, migration and integration. I hope it was useful. So if you like this video, please do give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed to this channel, please do subscribe to this channel and also do share your feedbacks. Thank you.